What's new in tech? Let me give you an update. Some of my thoughts from uh, from the Las Vegas Consumer Electronics Show. Unlike futuristic seminars about uh, visions and ideas, this is a trade show. So this is not what's coming, but what's here now. Um, and to give you a summary, this year is about three things. Transportation, of course, it's all electric, uh, trucks, bikes, drones. But I think what's more interesting is um, the stage of autonomy. There are all kinds of different companies here to present everything from, from LiDARs and sensors and uh, driver eye tracking in the windshield and so on. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If we use focus on technology, uh, autonomous vehicles, self-driving cars will be here very soon, sooner than we think. The second thing here is uh, gaming. And I'm not a gamer, but from what I can understand, all the companies, all the exhibitors from, from all of, over the world did the same thing. They added the word metaverse to their booth. So that's where we are. Uh, we are from now on inside the game. Remember a few years back, we could buy things like uh, like a race car chair for, for that uh, driving game or something. Today you can get uh, haptic clothes to, to give your body the sensations from falling or being hit by a bullet or something like that. The third thing here is health tech. Um, devices and software that can help us to understand not only how we are, but actually why. Um, the future of computers, it's fair to say, is a part of our body. So we went from mainframe to desktop to laptop to mobile to wearable slash implantable. Um, and from now on, we will wear our computers and be inside of the computer, be inside the game and so on. To me, especially in times like these, when the pandemic makes us turn to technology, even more than before, it's funny to see how human we still are uh, and how much everything actually depends on on how human we, we can be. I mean, it's easy to think that we don't need to travel anymore. Right? You can read all about a trade show. You can watch everything online. You can get a summary like this. Hell, you can even be present without being present. You can go to a trade show and just uh, make a virtual booth. The only problem is that everybody miss you. Human beings are social creatures and it's quite obvious that wherever there is uh, talk and laughter and music, there will be a crowd. That's where the attention goes. And then, of course, there are the basic tricks to get a long line of, of human beings uh, to get the attention. Sex toys. Another funny thing about humans is branding uh, and how important branding still is. Uh, or in this case, maybe I should say rebranding. We don't talk about things like cryptocurrency anymore. Definitely not Bitcoin. We say DeFi, as in decentralized finance or or even better we say web 3 web 3 that's it now if you want to catch the attention in 2022 make sure to to add web 3 to whatever it is you you are doing um oh yeah and, and metaverse of course uh forget about vr and ar that's also been rebranded now you have to you have to start building presence in the metaverse in the, in the new world so that's it for now. Uh, or one more thing, as they say in technology. Um, these technologies will change every aspect of, of society. So it's, uh, it's fair to say that you need to start thinking about more than just uh, remote work and cloud computing. Because in this case, what happens in Vegas will definitely not stay long in Vegas. I see you in the future.